Hi everybody, I'm going to try and make this a quick video and then I'll add this video to some of my other larger videos. Uh, I have to be very efficient about my footage. Um, I've been playing with this windshield for quite some time. I added various fins, uh, all kinds of weird things, uh, shape changes. Uh, my primary goal is to eliminate noise in this thing, mostly around my ears. Now, this is quite a bit of a challenge, but uh, the concepts aren't that difficult. I mean, I can get into fluid dynamics, but I think that would be ridiculous. Um, if you wish to eliminate the noise that's up around your ears, you need to kick the wind up over your head or up past your ears. Um, you don't have to worry so much about the top of your head unless you have a vent like this one. But you need to get the wind up and over past your ears so that there's a quiet zone next to your ears. Well, the way I accomplished this with a fairly low windshield was I created two wind ramps, you know, kind of like a, a jump ramp for a motorbike. One here and one here. Just a, a different angle. Very, very simple. And it worked great. Um, I was able to push the wind up over past my ears at both low speed and high speed. When I just had vertical fins, it was pulling the noise up to my ears at about 40 miles an hour, but pushing it away from my ears at high speed. So vertical fins weren't enough. So I turned the vertical fins into these little ramps to push the wind up and over, and that worked great. So here, the wind is kind of hitting me around the neck, and here, the wind is up and over past my ears. Um, but there's not much wind in here. The wind is actually going out to the sides. It's being pushed away uh, by these shapes and uh, going out that way. So um, this was really quite an invention. I mean, <laughs> sometimes I discover stuff just by doing it. So never be disappointed by the windshield you buy because sometimes a little cardboard and tape is just the thing you need. Um, I added these fins that pushed more wind out to the side, which was really handy. Now that I have the wind ramps, uh, the wind noise is low at my ears, which is just awesome. Um, what I also did to eliminate the noise at the top of my head was I closed off the vent a little bit by putting layers of tape in front of this vent. Again, a wind ramp, like a jump ramp, so the wind can jump over my head. Very simple thought, but what I do is I stepped up the tape, you know, one more layer, one more layer, one more layer, one more layer, to give it that ramp shape so that the wind would go up and over. I don't know if you can see that, uh, maybe I'll zoom in on this, but it's just a bump in front of that intake. So the intake still works, but the air flows up and over, so no more deep rumbling in the top of my helmet. So now that I've done all this experimentation, there's something I got to do here. I have to remove these really silly horns, so I'm going to do that right now because they don't do anything. These horns, they do nothing. Absolutely nothing. And they are really silly looking. So I'm just going to cut them off. All right. And then I got to do something about smoothing out these. These are just really soft rubber. So maybe I'm going to flatten them with some cardboard underneath or, uh, you know, something stiff, maybe some plastic. As long as it's not dangerous in a crash. So there you go. Um, more experimentation with my windshield. Lots of fun. I'm having a great time with it and learning a lot. Um, you don't have to be a physicist. Create a wind ramp. Uh, somewhere where your ears will be. So, you know, this is where my ears are. That's about the right distance. Push the wind up and out and over your head. 
uh, you'll probably find that really solves a lot of wind noise issues, especially if you're out there for four, five, or six hours. I want to thank you.